everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're starting to build a half-decent streak. We've had like three or at least two really unbelievably fast runs in a row. This scares me though. Firemind is dangerous. L1QR9032. Um, Firemind looks like low, uh, low shot speed maybe? Or very, very low, oh geez, very, very low range. Uh, is contributing to what is a little bit of a, a run that has me second-guessing myself, but we could have a lot of HP. We just, we need to be very, very careful and stay as far away from these enemies that we're hitting with Firemind as, as we can. That was pretty much what I was banking on there. Hopefully a bomb becomes readily available. Rotten Baby is a great pickup, don't get me wrong. We're probably one bomb away from feeling pretty darn survivable, at least on this floor, but... We gotta obviously get to that point first. That could have been like super dangerous twice in a row there. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook is like, oh man, I don't know. Like we obviously can use it. I just wanna make sure we have a safety net to get out of. This will not hit me. At the same time, we did only get one penny out of it, but I suppose I'm glad we just got something, all things considered. Let's move on here. Um, this is the same room that scares me quite a lot, actually, as a result of the fact that um, Firemind could cause these enemies to blow up right in front of me, and I have to get close-ish to them because of the range. But now that we have this bomb, I actually feel pretty good about things. We need some kind of range upgrade uh, if we're going to make this work long-term. But short-term, this is fine now that we have these uh, spirit hearts. If we can just get to a deal with the devil on the next floor, that's obviously like the first big step. Towards actually, uh, you know, making a, a winnable run happen. I can't believe that. First off, I'm stoked that um, Shoop the Whoop actually has the value of Fire Mind associated with it. Like, uh, it's sweet that it does do damage over time to the enemies and lights them on fire, or by lighting them on fire. But at the same time, I'm like a little bit scared uh, about the ramifications of these Fire Mind explosions. We've seen it happen many a time before. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to us anytime soon. But I can already feel myself getting into like a false sense of security. So let's try to back that up a little bit. That's alright. Actually, the Firemind fires are going to be awesome if I can just get um, Gemini to walk through them as much as possible. Even, like, little Gemini, we don't even have to shoot. I'd rather just have the opportunity to keep him uh, in the loop here. And there we go. That was really easy. And actually, the Halo is a sweet pickup as well. Let's head down to the next floor. Hopefully, see how much HP we have. We didn't have a ton, so actually, uh, well, now that I think about it, I think we did have two spirit hearts. Yeah, how many spirit hearts did we gain? We had no, wait, we must have been rolling on three spirit hearts or two spirit hearts because we only had, um, we only have one HP now and that must have come from the Halo. So maybe we actually were in kind of a, a little bit more dire of a position than I originally gave it credit for. This will help though. Well, we only got a key and a spirit heart. I will open the golden chest, though, and that gave us an Algaz rune, which is actually pretty... Uh, I don't know what word I was going to use there. Pretty stupid as well. No, that's not what I was going for. All right, let's sacrifice one spirit heart to come in here. And we got a bunch of spiders. It's not worth the cost, but it's also not worth the opportunity cost of using the Algaz rune. So it, it was worth the, the check, but in, in the end, it actually wasn't uh, what we needed it to be to feel happy about what we got in there, but that's okay. Roundabout way of saying I wasn't happy with the payout. Piggy bank is fine, and more bombs is also fine, but obviously we don't really want to buy anything else from our shop, and piggy bank is not really the kind of item that you write home about. Might want to shoot some poop, but your mileage may vary in that. You've got the seed as well, so you, if you think I should shoot the poop, you have the uh, the opportunity to, to show me how wrong I was by not shooting the poop. Now, eight cents. Still eight cents. Pheromones is relatively meaningless. Probably could get to 15 cents if we really pushed it. No uh, Tinted Rock on here, and now it actually becomes the moment of truth. It's double Monstro. I got both of them, did some damage over time, so I'm excited about that. All we want now is a little bit of beautiful Fire Mind action, and then to get both of them to stand in the fire for like, you know, a quarter of a second, and then they'll be dead. One of them's already dead, obviously, but... One more hit might do it. Please don't explode right next to me. I may need this HP in the future. Super bandage is awesome, and this is a bit of a moment of truth right here. Gimpy. Gimpy is fine. Not really what I'm looking for explicitly, but at least acceptable. I think this is a good run. I think this is very, very winnable right now. I don't want to say it's a one run, because every time I call it a one run, uh, they come out uh, swinging with like a six room or something like that, but uh, 
we're definitely like we're survivable for now, and that's that's good. And Gimpy is an item that, you know, it's it's shitty. No, it's great. No, it's okay. Like I I kind of find myself going back and forth through various like extremes with Gimpy. I think Gimpy is an item that is good and gets better. Let's put it that way. Assuming your luck trends upwards, which it really should, if you're not deliberately taking luck downgrades on the regular, um, the the extra red hearts can be beneficial, but also the extra spirit hearts are. For the most part, that's where uh, that's where the real majesty of that item lies, without a doubt. Good stuff, and I'm hoping we can snag another deal with the devil here. I don't think like shoot the whoop. We do have to get rid of it at some point, but I don't think we really needed to use it against Mega Ma. Hopefully, we can get like a Fire Mind explosion, and it'll actually be on the hitbox of Mega Ma. It actually seems like that's exactly how this is going right now. Not all of them are on the hitbox, but if we can just get one, that's all we really needed. And we did get another deal with the Devil. We also got the Screw, which is good, and we will take Spirit of the Night. This is is, is starting to get uh, pretty solid. How's our range looking now that we've got that increased shot speed? Still not amazing. I don't think anybody would necessarily dispute that. Come on, free pills, free pills, free pills. Well, one free pill. Telepills on an error room, or on a... a uh, Curse of the Lost Floor, but still, we were right next to where we wanted to be anyway. Speed down. Actually, pretty bad. We... I can't remember if we've had a speed upgrade. I feel pretty fast, but I think that's largely because we, uh, have the ability to fly, so we're a little bit more maneuverable than we otherwise are sometimes. Okay. Just do the damage, and then let the fly sort it out. Like, that's... What I'm going to rely on is kind of my regular right now. So I can hit all these guys. I do believe that Shoot the Whoop scales with your tiers. I still think it's bad either way. Uh, but it might only be, like, unusable after we get piercing shots. Because after we get piercing shots, assuming we have decent range, we're going to be able to hit enemies all the way with our own tiers while you Shoot the Whoop. Maybe I'm missing something there that makes that actually, like, palatable. But I'm open to the idea. I mean, that's the thing with these Eden runs is I want them to... Uh, I want them to teach me a little bit. Oh, that is really good. We probably will not get a deal with the devil for a floor or two, but a free guppy's collar is always welcomed. And we're doing really well. That's actually really unfortunate as well. It's one of the few situations in which a range downgrade is actually noticeably terrible. Gimpy has paid out nicely on that uh, fire mind hit. We really can't afford to have super low range with fire mind. And maybe that's maybe this is our uh, our awakening. For Shoop the Whoop actually being useful, because at least we don't have to be right next to enemies full of, like, or rooms full of spiders. You know, we can get on the other side and then pop Shoop the Whoop and make it happen that way. Similarly, these guys are going to be pretty fast, but one, uh, one Shoop the Whoop did a lot of work there. And then these guys don't really go anywhere, so I can stay away from them. Oh, little, little scary. Still need to find our item room on this floor, I think. We are making great time, though. I wouldn't dispute that. Item room must be up and to the left, not this left specifically, the one right here. And it's probably only one or two rooms off. That's actually an awful lot of money as well. And our shop is there. I forgot about our shop. Now that we have 32 cents, we will definitely go for that. 35 cents because I just threw a spirit heart away for no reason with the world's worst dodge. Uh, Book of Sin. You know what? Well, what did it give me? Chaos card. I think we have to agree that the Algiz rune is probably more interesting. For most enemies. I think so, anyway. I'm gonna buy our spirit heart, and then I'm just gonna go. I think I'll stick with the, uh, I'll stick with the Shoop the Whoop. I'm gonna give it a shot. Whether or not it works, I have no idea. Whether or not it'll work for us, I should say. But, I'm gonna stick with it for now. And hope that it works out. Double key. This is why you can never be so sure of things. It's like you love a restaurant, but they keep hiring a new chef. You like the fish tacos? You come back next time, they're using a haddock instead of cod. It's like, what is this, amateur hour? I don't mean to insult the haddock, uh, you know, the, the people in the haddock industry in North America or uh, beyond, you know. It's a very common white fish. I'm just more of a cod guy, personally. I know that there's a, a like, a bit of a cod shortage. I believe that it's been recovered, um, to some extent, at least. I let the Environmental Department of Canada and, you know, the Fisheries Department of Canada handle that stuff. I just... You know, if it's on a menu, I may order it. I hope it's not like a shark fin soup situation where I'm making the problem worse. But um, I'm just trying to have some fish and chips, man, okay? 
Maybe next time I'll order Bassa. That's, uh, not Bass. Maybe it's Bassa. You know what I mean. The Mighty Mighty Bassa Tones. Um, hey, I'll try to order a fish that's not offensive. I don't know. Salmon. Everybody likes salmon, right? Salmon's a bullshit fish! White fish for life! Well, that's just ignorant, okay? Salmon trade, very important part of, a you know, BC's economy, so... You know, you're, you insult salmon, you're insulting me! And also, like, millions of, of bears out there. Like, actual animal bears. Uh, still did not take damage there, which is actually a big surprise. No deal with the devil, not a surprise there. Uh, speedball is actually a good pickup. We have had a range downgrade and uh, a speed downgrade. So the speed upgrade is, it counters that, obviously. Halo of Flies is okay. And um, the range downgrade is countered a little bit by the shot speed upgrade. So I think it's an okay pickup. It's, it's not like Torn Photo or anything like that, but it's, it's solid. We will go take the Steam Sale, and then I'll buy another Spirit Art just to keep ourselves going here. And we do have a Tinted Rock. We can get that Tinted Rock in a single Mushroom. Mm, golden Chest. Health Up. And Telepills. Oh. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to take Tammy's Head temporarily. We're not doing that much damage right now. I think I want to stick with Shoop the Whoop. Because I'm, I'm committed. And we'll stick with Algiz as well. I'm committed to Shoop the Whoop. I want to make it work. I want to give it a shot, because sometimes I shit on it and people go, Dude, well, did you know Shoop the Whoop scales with your damage? So, like, you know, it's actually better than you give it credit for. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We're going to find out. We're going we're gonna to find out my personal feelings on the matter. Obviously not an ob objective uh, approach, necessarily. This is also a very, very fast run. Uh, I think we've been playing fine. But we might as well, you know, take a second and, and look back and be like, or look forward, I guess, and be like, you know what, we still have plenty of time if we want to do boss rush. We're like three minutes ahead of schedule. Let's not throw uh, chances at extra chests and stuff away. You know, this could be a guppy item right here. And it is indeed, and it's actually a really good guppy item for us. Possibly the best guppy item for us. So we will totally take nine lives. Now we're only one deal with the devil potentially away from becoming guppy. And that would be uh, usually a pretty good predictor of success, would be the very polite and obvious way that I put that. You can see our, our damage right now isn't that good, but we do have a pretty nice rate of fire. So if we can just, you know, have some of these shots summon flies, then that helps out our damage uh, immensely. And of course, now we are sitting at the nine lives, so possibly, uh, possibly somewhere between ten and infinity as well, depending on how lucky we get with the dice rolls with, uh, with Guppy's Collar here. Oh no, just get him to jump in the fire. This is this is poor damage on my part. Jump in the fire. Life is not tried, it is merely survived when you get peep to jump in the fire. Thank you. I didn't write that, that's Garth Brooks, but... Okay. Great stuff. Stand as far back as we can, that room is well worth going to. And it must annoy some people that I end up skipping a lot of rooms, and then the one time I'm like, well, let's do our due diligence, I get rewarded for it. You know, I understand that that's not the way that that always works out um, for everybody. But I also, you know, I'm only rolling my own dice, I can't speak for anybody else. So let's be honest here, uh, Book of Shadows or Book of Belial, preferably Book of Belial, is a much better choice for us than Shoop to Whoop. But I think at this point I've got enough skill... Not enough skill, enough like positive attributes on this run so far to um, to feel like we're gonna win regardless. And I'd really like to get a feel for how Shoop the Whoop works in the like I don't want to say late game, but like sort of late game. You know how it works if we don't just get rid of it for the first space bar item we see. I think it's it's worth a shot at least to try it out, give it the chance to let me down. You know, instead of just assuming it will. So uh, we'll head down here. And hopefully continue on what is a relatively quick pace, and hopefully we burned off enough of that deal with the devil penalty to, to get one on this floor. Because it would be awesome to become Guppy, and then just have the, like, the complete luxury of being able to use Shoop the Whoop for the entire game, because we are pretty much guaranteed to win in spite of, or not in spite of it, but, uh, well, yeah, in spite of it. <laughs> I didn't want to insult Shoop the Whoop, but uh, I kind of did mean it as not even a veiled insult, just like a light insult. He's going to go into the fire. And nearly die. Wow, that is a lucky dodge on his part. And an eternal heart. I don't know if that's Gimpy's doing or if that's just like a, the champion for that has a specific chance to pay out like that. I don't know. Oh, that was very dumb of me. And again, my idiocy still sort of gets rewarded with a Gimpy payout. So I understand that's that's got to be frustrating sometimes. I don't control the RNG. 
Nor does the RNG really control me, I suppose. Oh, you can still hit me there, huh? And again, my damage is uh, rewarded with that Gimpy payout. I don't know what our luck stat is like right now. We did get one luck upgrade, of course, from uh, the Halo. I assume that it still gives you a luck upgrade anyway. I've never really looked into the specifics of it. Beyond tears and damage, but then I forgot. It's like 0 0.3 damage or something. Something silly. Okay, well this is maybe where we um, where we pop our Algiz rune. We haven't really gotten great value out of it, and we probably could get great value out of it later, but we got a little bit of extra time here. We could sort out our money, maybe make a lot of donations. Maybe get a blood bag. I don't really want an IV bag. Come on. Don't don't kill my time here for no reason. I mean, it's not no reason, but I'm it's weird. I will be a little salty if I end up losing the chance at uh this Algiz rune just to pick up like 50 cents. I mean, a rune for 50 cents like that trade inverted is great, but it's not as valuable as it could be unfortunately. But still, we've got enough money to do whatever we want now. Anemia Anemic, it's kind of bad, I think. Oh, and then you give me greed, so I can't even donate on this floor. That is a that is a dirty trick if I've ever seen one. Oh, careful. We got our second steam sale. Unfortunately, of course, they do not stack. That's alright. I'm not too worried about the fact that we didn't get HP. I could have used it, but we have so many lives and a decent number of spirit hearts. We will, like, it depends. If we fight Krampus on this floor, I'll start to have a little bit of tension built up. Because that was just terrible damage. I'll start to have a little bit of tension built up because this could still go wrong. There are still like lose conditions that I could associate with this run right now. That's helpful. Um, basically, they all boil down to when we get down to the depths, or sorry, the womb. Can't believe we didn't get hit there until the end, and then we got rewarded. Um, but so yeah, when we get down to the depths, I mean the womb for the second time. Um, it's going to deal double damage, and the fact that it deals double damage is, of course, going to, um, mean that our spirit hearts have a much better chance of eroding more quickly, and, you know, we gotta get those one-to-one -one gimpy payouts, otherwise I, I, I do start to have an unstable equilibrium when it comes to our HP, so, hopefully, no HP, or no, uh, no anything here. I think we'll just go, honestly. Um, hopefully we, we do manage to get something, I guess, that gives us more damage in particular. The more damage we have, the less uh, HP we're going to need. But we also have defensive things that we can exploit, like that right there, obviously. Hopefully we get something good from our boss trap room. We don't have Curse of the Blind, obviously, and we do have a really good chance at boss trap, so we might as well give it a shot. And we can play this for a little while. At least to check out the boss trap room. That is where we got nine lives, so it would be nice to get it. But I would also love a teleport card. Let's try to open this. It was worth it. Little Haunt is also fine, but kind of one of those items that it doesn't swing us enough to be really, really noteworthy. No red chests, so, I mean, there could be Guppy's tail. Sorry, Guppy's uh, head in those, but... Is that a Tinted Rock? No. Could be Guppy's head in those, but it's it's kind of unlikely. I don't think it's worth the time investment right now when we could just pick it up or pick up something better even from our uh, our boss trap room. If we have the time, I wouldn't mind going back though. But I, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to because that's the kind of player I am, and also uh, we have Curse of the Lost, so I don't know how I'm going to find my way back. Plus, that all relies on us getting some means of teleportation first anyway. So there's a lot of maybes there. There's enough maybes that I would say don't get your hopes up about seeing how that boss trap room resolves. Or sorry, not boss trap. Uh, boss. Wait, it is a boss trap room, but boss rush was what I was talking about earlier. Okay. Keep it going. We're looking for skulls. Looking for skulls that we can crack. So we can get a teleport card. So far, we've had pretty terrible luck in that regard. But the keys are nice, and we're still very, very, very good on time. I can't believe I let myself get hit there. I can't believe I got hit, but I can't believe that I let us get hit. This is where we get our teleport card. This is like the ideal room, even though I probably will take damage. It's the ideal room right before... Uh, a fight that you would like to have a teleport card for. It would be awesome if we could get the stars or the hermit as well, so I could actually, like, not have to worry about Curse of the Lost in finding those rooms. There's no guarantee that we get a teleport card, but there's a pretty good shot. Two of hearts. Little disappointed. 
About halfway through. That hit me. I would have been. Wouldn't have been thrilled. Let's put it that way. Man, no teleport cards. This is a little ridiculous. Let's go back and explore. We're lucky in that we have time. I mean, the Temperance card is okay. Two of Hearts may be okay, depending on what our HP looks like. I don't know why I would even risk going into the center of those spikes, but I did. I've already been that way. Okay, so we've still got probably a little bit over a minute to get into the the mom fight. I say a little bit over a minute, because even though our damage kind of sucks, it's so bad of me. Even though our damage kind of sucks, uh, there's a Tinted Rock there. Uh, we do have... Hive mind, not f hive mind, fire mind, so I can put down uh, a flame, basically, and then uh, have mom's foot step in it, or at least try to get mom's foot to step in it. Small rock is fine. It's actually, it's great. I shouldn't even say it's fine. Speed down. Not super interested in this. Uh, a card, Wheel of Fortune. Probably the best of the cards we've got so far. We've already seen our item room as Little Haunt, so this shop is really, it's kind of like the be all end all for us, as far as like special rooms on this floor. And it's, it's pretty good. Map compass. Is this telepills? It's actually hematomesis. Alright, you know what? Let's let's donate as much as they'll let us donate. And I'm going to take that as a sign that they want us to try to do boss rush. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. You know what? We should have had Cursed Skull or something like that. No, Broken Remote would have been better. Cursed Skull is not going to do anything for me in this situation. We might still want to do a deal with the devil. Or sorry, a boss rush. Um... It will require an amazing deal with the devil item here. We've also got to just be fast enough to kill mom before mom... Or before we run out of time anyway. So just stand mostly still. I imagine we will probably take hits in the process here. We want mom to step on the fire. Not smart of me. But there's the fire. That's what we need. It's, it's sort of working. No, I think it's not going to be in the cards for us. As much as it looks like it actually could happen. No. We were like one second too short and we had to go into the deal with the devil anyway. And I was just about to say, if it's Krampus, which I would expect that it has a chance to be, we have to fight Krampus. It's better than going into the, the boss trap room and hoping for the best. So, in hindsight, we probably should have done the um, the boss trap room. But now we just hope for a better deal with the devil on our next floor. And, I mean, we're still doing very well on time. We did just buy map and compass simultaneously there. No, that's literally simultaneously. You get the idea. Um, we bought them in the same shop. So we have incredible mapping right now. And uh, pretty decent survivability. Damage is our weak point, but it's not necessarily bad. It's not a red chest, so I'm not... I'm unbelievably tempted to get into it. We might as well just skip this little room and go straight for this one right here. Shoop the whoop is sort of getting to the point where I think it's overstated as welcome a little bit. I have to admit. But again, this is this is a trial run to see how Shoop the Whoop actually is. Maybe I can stop shitting on it. I mean, as is, it's done stuff for us. It's done a little work. There we go. Maybe not um Maybe not as much as the premier uh, space bar items, but you know, not everything can be a Book of Belial. Not everything can be a, a, a super good Tammy's head or something like that. There's got to be some balance in there somewhere. Probably should go back for that bomb, but that <laughs> this room makes it pretty unlikely that I actually will, I'll admit. Alright, both pop up. Both pop up. and Like, pop up, but in the same vertical line. That's more along the lines of what I'm looking for. I think we got hit twice there which is bad for business kind of starting to run out of spirit hearts a little bit like it's not dire yet but it's a little bit more quickly than I'd like to I mean it's one of those situations where could we beat the game with one life I think it's possible I just I really don't want to find ourselves in that position where we have to make that happen so as soon as it looks like a shot comes out I'm gonna move um, yeah, that was actually surprisingly good timing. Probably the better course of action is to focus down one of them. But I am mostly going to be concerned with just making sure I don't get hit. And so far, it's so good on this one. This will be a great opportunity for a deal with the devil or just a great boss room item. This fight would pretty much win according to plan. And we get safety pin and no deal with the devil. That's so disappointing. So, 
Uh, put those guppy dreams to rest, at least temporarily. We got a little bit of a game on our hands here. No curse room. There is a boss trap room and an arcade. But with Curse of the... Oh man, I probably should have taken damage there. With Curse of the Unknown, I really don't want to risk it. I could risk it because we have the room as kind of like a barometer of how much HP we have. I really do not want to risk it, so... I'm, I'm going to play a little bit more conservatively than maybe some people would even like to see. Uh, Lucky Rock is pretty much meaningless uh, for us right now. This feels like a secret room to me, so I'm going to try it. Alrighty. And we get a battery charge. I could not be less excited about that right now. Usually you have a good chance to find a tinted rock on these rooms, but I don't even see an opportunity for there to be a tinted rock. Don't explode in my face. Good. Okay. More bombs. Uh, I think a lot of our chance for success comes down to when we pop this first life, if we ever pop this. That was so bad. Um, Joker? Joker. We have to use it now. Oh, no! What is wrong with you, brain? That's like one of the few times where immediately I'm like, you are an idiot. I w in my head. Look, there's no defense that I can offer myself here. I used Joker card on like the only floor where it's an awful idea to use it. In my head, I was like, well, you've got a guaranteed item with Wheel of Fortune, so you know you want to take that down. You should use the Joker card. No, that was very dumb. That <laughs> possibly cost us a chance at Guppy. Guaranteed me like another 50 dislikes as well. So that's like, it puts a little bit of a damper on my day. Those directly correlate with my mood, obviously. Now, uh, I think uh, what I was saying earlier, I'm just going to try to put that terrible, like, split decision, or split second decision uh, mistake behind me. Um, it's, uh, it comes down to when, if we use this first life, let's assume that we do, it comes down to when we use the first life. If we manage to make it through this floor without uh, losing this first life, I think we've got a pretty good chance, especially if we can take any, you know, conceivably half-decent amount of HP down with us. Because we are going to encounter rooms that are going to be hard to beat on the chest with uh, with only one HP. Double adversary is a pain in the ass. Double cage is awful. Double gate can be tough. And you can, you know, lose two or three lives on a fairly easy room if you only have one HP. That's, that's one of the principal problems is that as soon as you get hit once, you're dead. And you have to do the whole room over again. So, um, really, I think this becomes a little bit of like a, a harm reduction kind of style here. It's a third steam sale. Um... We, we really, we know we're going to take damage, take as little as possible, but the number one priority is at least making it to the chest without losing this life. If we lose the life, I do think we've got an okay chance to beat Isaac without getting, uh, without getting hit. If we have to, I'd really prefer not to have to. That's the, that's the principal draw there. And it's not a bad run. Uh, it's not a bad run at all. It just is the kind of run where slightly suboptimal play has a disproportionate impact, I, I feel right now. Um, the curse room is almost like a guarantee. We have to go to it almost. And it's only going to cost us one spirit heart. Maybe even zero if our secret room happens to be here. Which I wouldn't put a huge uh, probability on that. But it's not. But we have to check. Because if it's Guppy's head, then all's forgiven. Or a teleportation to the deal with the devil. Then, I, weirdly enough, I would have made the right decision. But it's actually Goathead. Which is, it almost seems like the game's mocking me a little bit. This feels like the right way to get to the boss fight though. Oh, uh, I will. I will, and uh, unfortunately that obviously didn't really work out for us. This would be an awesome time to get uh, another Joker card. Just throwing it out there. Emperor would also be good. Lovers is not really worth much, unfortunately. This would be another great time to get... Oh, the black heart makes this room worth it by itself. But, uh, the devil, that's... It's okay, but we have to stick with Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, Ben on air since. The invention of porches, that is kind of nonsense. Pat say Jack and Vanna, why? It's not, I'm, my jingle skill is gone, man. Okay, now, as many of these explosions as possible right into... The Maw of Madness. That, I probably should have taken damage there. Thank you, Halo of Flies. An unsung hero. I haven't really talked too much about it this run, but I appreciate it nonetheless. That, the only reason we got hit there was the explosion from Fire Mind. I already have a hard time liking this item, although it's been pretty good for us this run, despite the, you know, some damage we've taken. The explosion from Fire Mind now propelling Isaac's shot 
so that his uh, low range can still hit us is is just another you know it's the icing on the cake for this item being kind of dubious in terms of its quality it, it finds many ways to hurt us is all I'm trying to say I guess now this is gonna take a while we might as well just like you know sit back relax and enjoy the ride we do have lump of coal so if I can ever um, get a little bit of uh, exploitative range out of that or exploitative damage out of our range I think it's a, a very good thing for our business it's actually going very well. Looks like we'll probably have five or six HP on the next floor. That's not an insignificant amount of HP. And we're going to get five items as well. Again, like, I, I never want this to come across like this should not be winnable. This should be very winnable. The only question is whether or not we can follow through with it. Capricorn is a huge help. How to jump is not. Libra, I have no idea. But we'll take it. Uh, Book of Revelations we will take as well. Dead Sea Scrolls is, is kind of garbage. we got three books there. So Libra, I think it may have upped our damage here. Not that that's the be-all, end-all, always. But um, I feel like our rate of fire is like the same, but our shots are bigger. Bigger shots usually means, you know, directly correlated with damage. Uh, so I'm, I'm psyched, I think. Libra has kind of like... Th let me put it this way. There's a, there's a safety kind of like... Uh, warning associated with Libra, which is only take Libra if you have soy milk. And I don't think that that's true, but I do think that if you're like a turbo beginner, that's uh, that's a good uh, word of thumb to live by, maybe, so you never end up making a terrible mistake. It's like Eve's Mascara, never take in the early game. Uh, Technology 2, never take in the late game. Those are things that are situational, and those are kind of like shorthand rules. I wouldn't suggest that those are immutable. And I feel kind of the same way about Libra. I take Libra all the time now. I don't think Libra is a run ruiner in most situations. It's only a run ruiner. Wow, that was really poor. Like, if we lose this run, it doesn't seem like it's going to be related to Libra. It's going to be related to my own inability to dodge my shots and maybe a little bit of, you know, bullshit fire mine thrown in. But, um, and probably that Joker card. Who knows what we would have gotten on the Cathedral, but still. It was a mistake, objectively speaking. Um, oh, interesting. Sorry, uh, other items, because Shoop the Whoop is here to stay. Strange Attractor, Sad Bombs, Virgo. Now, Strange Attractor I definitely should not have taken, but I thought it would be fun. And, uh... I still feel pretty good about Sad Bombs. That's what I'm thinking is maybe, what happens if you just throw like a Sad Bomb down here? It, it kills one enemy instantly. I think that's pretty good. Considering we have 19 bombs left, I think that's, that's gonna be good enough. Like on this room, we might just be able to throw down one of these. Suck the enemies away from us, and then, you know, Rotten Baby can pick up the, the scraps or something. Skinny Odd Mushroom I also think is great. Libra obviously keeps balancing our stats, but... I don't know what that did. But I feel like it'll be okay on, um, on the Blue Baby fight. Samson's Chain, we'll take. At least we have some other means of kind of, like, reliably dealing damage to, uh, to Blue Baby. Yo, just throw down a sad bomb and suck the enemies away from you. Throw down another sad bomb and suck the enemies away from you. Fistula is just annoying. This is where it would actually be awesome for us to have uh, piercing shots. We don't have them. Obviously. Or I wouldn't be talking about it so much, probably. But, uh, it would be ideal for us to get piercing shots so that, um, you know, Strange Attractor kind of dragged them with it and, and could kill multiple enemies with the same hit. But we're there, basically. We, we've done it. I would be amazed if we did not win. There's gotta, yeah, gotta be a shot coming out soon, and then we'll get extremely lucky to not take damage and sneak in another sad bomb. Sneak in another sad bomb. I really, like, the bomb explosion and then the shots are what's important, so make sure you're at least getting that bomb explosion in there. Pretty good for crowd control as well. Strange Attractor is neither a huge detriment nor a huge success for us here. Shoop the whoop congrats on making it to the end of a run for the first time in your history. Uh, were you an integral part of the run? I would say probably not, but we did win, and you helped out occasionally, so thanks for thanks for that, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, though. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I don't know why I threw a though in there. Though, 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 though. Don't know why I threw that, though.